What's up guys, it's Darren here from EC Nano Reef. I hope everybody's doing good. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing some amazing products from Planktonics. Now, if you don't know who they are, make sure you check the link down in the description. They've got some amazing products. But yeah, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so let's get package number one and see you next to you. So this is package number two and I just want to say I am so impressed as to how this has been packaged. Um, this has been at my place for approximately 12 hours already plus it's been in transit for a good couple of hours and it is still ice ice cold. Alright guys, so now that we've unboxed everything, I want to go through each product with you. I want to show you guys what we've got, how we're going to dose it into our tanks, as well as how we're going to store them. So first here we've got our Rotifer. Now Rotifer is small zooplankton. Um, what's, in, what's cool about these guys is you can feed your corals with them. You can use them to feed little fish, as well as shrimp. Um, Rotifers get stored in the fridge. Uh, you dose 50 mils every second day. Next, we've got our Tisby pods. Now, Tisby pods is basically copepods. Um, they help with your little picky eaters in your tank, your fish, and all the fish with the little small mouths. Um, this, you're going to throw the whole bottle into your tank all at once. Just make sure you do it when you switch off your lights or in the evenings as well as make sure you put off all your flow for at least 20 minutes giving them time to settle into the substrate the rocks or wherever all right guys next we've got our phytoplankton now what makes the phytoplankton from planktonics extra special is that it's actually got five different strains in this bottle um, obviously your corals are going to love it um, it also helps fight some diseases uh, in your tank that can affect your fish uh, phytoplankton is going to get stored in the fridge and you're going to feed anything from 25 to 30 mils daily um, per 100 liters and it's also important just to give it a, a mix up every day because your cells are going to settle to the bottom of the bottle and actually um, suffocate each other which can cause them to die and not last as long if I'm not mistaken yeah you can keep phytoplankton for up to two weeks fresh in the fridge Next guys, we've got our pod feed. Now, as the label says, it's food for your copepods. Now, everything in this bottle ensures that your copepods are going to grow and multiply and just be healthy and also ensure that your fish are receiving uh, vitamin-enriched foods. Um, it's important to switch off your schema when dosing this, otherwise your schema will go quite crazy. Um, you're also going to use 25 to 50 mils every second day, as per the instructions here. You can store it up to one month, also to be kept in the fridge. Here we've got our Bacto seeding. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is actually beneficial bacteria. Now, what you can do with this, if you're starting off a new tank, and your tank is not fully cycled or anything like this, 
or no, sorry, if your if your tank is not fully cycled or anything, you can use this to seed your tank with beneficial bacteria. Um, you can also use it in a tank like mine that has been established and has been running for a year or two. Uh, adding new or beneficial bacteria to your tank just benefits everything overall. It also helps outcompete uh, any bad bacteria in your tank. Um, you also sometimes lose beneficial bacteria when you add uh, different chemicals into your tank like chemically etc. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with getting some extra uh, beneficial bacteria in your tank every now and then. Lastly guys, here we've got our Cope Pod Hotel. Now this may just look like a little cube to you, but I promise your Cope Pods absolutely love this little thing. Um, like the name says, it's a Cope Pod Hotel. Uh, you can pop it in your sump, your refugium. I'm going to put mine in my display tank, in the little corner. Alright guys, so I have floated the copper pots. Now I'm going to throw the whole thing into my display tank because I do clean out my rear chambers quite often and I don't want to lose any copper pots that way. Um, I did take the little copper pot hotel and I threw it into the back there. And yeah, my flow is off, my lights are off. Let's get them in. The fish are all nice and well fed already. So hopefully they don't bother the copepods at all. Plantonics copepods have been added. Okay, so this is the pod feed, 30 mils. This I'm going to throw into the back chamber. My skimmer is off. Okay, next we've got our rotifer. You can target feed this as well if I'm not mistaken. But I'm just going to throw it in there. And then lastly, this I'm going to add every day. So I'm just going to keep everything to 30 mils, guys. The recommended dosage is the, the recommended dosage is just a guideline, and yeah, I'm going to just keep it at 30 mils. All right, guys. So I've taken some coral feast. I've defrosted it in some water. Um, let's get into the tank and see what the what the corals think of it. so a full block is a little bit much for my tank um, so next time I will definitely cut the block in half um, I would definitely say the corals like it I mean the acans are absolutely munching away look at that the blasters they were all closed up the dragon soul favia my little Connie at the back there, frog spawns at the back there, and everything. It actually, all the corals actually um, uh, ate very fast. So it just shows you that it's a nice fine food. Even the SPS will be able to um, pull some of it in there. Um, the zoas, everything just reacted very good to the. Um, Coral feast food. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Please don't forget to click that like button if you did like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe guys, I really appreciate it. Um, also, one last thing, don't forget to check 
Planktonics website down in the description below. Um, they've also got an Instagram page, they've got a Facebook page. They're always uploading more on their products, all the information. Um, yeah, guys, check it out. Trust me, there's a lot more to all of these products than what I mentioned in my video. Um, it's obviously just a little bit difficult to mention all the ingredients and the vitamins and everything that goes into it, but I can guarantee you that all those products are made to benefit your tank, your corals, your fish, and yourself. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to Bill Keys from Planktonics for um, organizing everything. Just give them some love, support them, get all these awesome products for your tank, and get those corals growing, guys. Until next time, cheers.